Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial how to download the new Perplexity AI browser called Comet. It's now generally available for everyone to download for free, and I highly recommend checking it out. Be careful with all the services you connect it to because there could still be security vulnerabilities. So first go to perplexity.ai slash Comet, and then click Download Comet here in the center. It's gonna automatically start downloading it to your computer. So open up your Finder folder, look for the download. Go ahead and double click it and then drag comment over to applications. I had already downloaded it, so I'm, but I'm just gonna click replace. Okay, then head over to applications and you should see comment right here. Okay, so double click it to open it up. Click open. And you're gonna see this really neat, fancy video introducing this new browser. You can skip this, by the way, you do not have to import your Chrome settings. So I'm gonna say, do this later. Choose a profile name, let's call it Sabrina. This is a funky color, okay, continue. And these are all optional. So if you want Comet to be your default browser, you're gonna leave this checked. If you want it on your dock, if you wanna open it every time you start up, if you wanna help improve the product, I'm gonna uncheck this, this, and I probably don't want it to be my default browser yet. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay. You just sign into your Perplexity account so that you can unlock all of the features, but you don't have to do that right away. Just click skip for now right here. Okay, it's gonna ask you again, just to make sure, just click skip anyway. So you can just go to any website. I'm just gonna go to my own website and see what I can do. On the right hand side, you can see all of these different buttons, right? So this one will summarize the current web page. So let's go ahead and do that. So that was pretty neat in just a few seconds. It looked, it looked at the website that I'm currently on, right? And summarize the entire website. I can ask questions about it. Who made this website that I'm on, okay? And it's using the perplexity engine to research this question. And it got it correct. Blood data was created by me. Click up here, new thread, if you want to start a new type of conversation. And it's going to be looking at this website as well. And just like normal perplexity, you can drop in files, you can take screenshots, you have voice mode. Again, be careful with what accounts you give Comet access to because there could still be security vulnerabilities. This stuff is brand new.